What's up, Pioneer fans? I'm here with Co Coach Jeff Hebner after a great volleyball win. KMA was rocking, Coach. Home opener. Uh, just describe the energy tonight. Oh, it was wild. It was the best. I mean, this is the reason why you come to TWU. Like, because volleyball is a huge priority here, and the students showed out, the community showed out, all the families were awesome. And so just like following along and being a part of the team. And I thought that that was like one of the big pieces to like coming into the gym at six minutes, and 30 seconds and people being waiting for us. That is, that's next level. So we love Den for that. Yeah, I mean, it was standing room only in KMA tonight, wall to wall fans. Mm. Uh, how does your team, you know, carry that momentum into a first set win? Yeah, so like it, we were almost tight because of how awesome it was. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, the, the beginning and kind of through the middle was a little bit just back and forth. And I thought Washita played great. Like they did a really good job of working off hands and playing great defense um, and sort of feeding off of the crowd in the opposite way. Mm -hmm. And so they were loose. And then, you know, kind of at 19-19, we sort of just had a good serving run in there and were able to get a couple blocks and Malia got a couple kills. And so it just it leveled out pretty nicely for us. And, you know, we were able to sort of lean into the fan experience, which was really great. Yeah, a little bit of dip in the second set, but came out strong again in the third and fourth. I talk about this team, just composure to be able to close tonight. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think that we're just, we're very comfortable. Obviously, we took our international trip. We played a lot of uh, preseason matches, but also just like we've been through it all together. And these seniors really like led from the front. I mean, Lexi came off the bench and played incredible. Kara was awesome. Kaya was awesome. And so like that group just kind of was able to settle everybody down and just be understanding of the moments and sort of like, even though Kaya really couldn't block for like mm -hmm. three whole sets, she was able to like separate and conquer. And I thought that that was really just mature. And that led the way for our team into the third set. Just have the confidence, to, like do what we need to do in order to be successful. Definitely. And you spoke about the seniors, Kaya Saylor, 18 kills. You know, who stood out to you uh, tonight? It was, you know, Saylor hitting well, Luna with 27 digs, uh, people, the bench, I mean, just bringing mm -hmm. the energy, uh, any, uh, kind of star players for you tonight yeah you know i think like one of the unsung heroes of our team is just always going to be lizzie reed like she came in and you know, i thought grace was setting really well but lizzie had an awesome week this week and so um she came in and just ran a really solid offense and she's just great at like being deceptive with hands and um in a situation where like we weren't totally passing awesome she was really able to sort of just lead and she's obviously got a ton of experience and so that was awesome she did a really good job and then, you know, obviously Kaya was just pretty untouchable over there. And the only errors that she made were like, I'm trying too hard to be perfect errors. Mm -hmm. And so once she started settling in the four set, she got the one block. And then it was like, okay, so this whole experience is mine. And so I was just excited for her to kind of get back out there, you know, and just start her senior year this way. And the fun doesn't end. I mean, we got no. another match tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Then we mm -hmm. got two on Saturday. You know, how do you keep this energy rolling into those next three matches? Over yeah, the next couple days? tomorrow is a big match. I mean, UCO is historically one of the best programs in the country. So we get the opportunity to host them here. We need everybody to come out and mm -hmm. support this. This experience is unique to Texas women's. And so we need you. And so our, you know, we're really excited to sort of have had one match under our belts at home. Um, and then we, uh, we have the opportunity to play against one of the best teams in the country and do the same thing on, on Saturday two times. And so it just puts us in a position to be really successful. And obviously we love being at KMA. Yeah. And undefeated at home is always a great place to start. Mm -hmm. But like Coach Hebner said, fans, we need you tomorrow night, 7 p.m. KMA is a place to be. We hope to see you there.